Today I wanted to talk to you about the best settings to use with Rare Vision VHS because it's highly modifiable. You can change a lot of the different classifications and modifications and stuff, stuff, stuff. Is this how like all of my videos are gonna start with me just like having hot flashes because what is going on with this heat? I don't remember historically my videos dealing with so much heat. I was making videos at this time of the year before on my channel, I think. Oh my God. Hi, hello, it's me, I'm Steven Allen. How are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. It's so nice to see you. Please do subscribe because I am posting videos again. I'm planning on posting two videos a week, Mondays and Thursdays, I think around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I go with that because that's like the standard time for stuff. I know you could do Pacific time, you can do mountain time, you can do all these other times, but I'm just going with Eastern. Kind of all over the place these days. I think I went through this before, like the menu, but just like quickly. So today I wanted to go in with a little more detail, not a lot of detail because I don't want to be a tutorial. I'm not a tutorial. I'm just here to kind of show you what's up before you spend your money. I don't know how much the app costs. You can watch one of my other videos. Maybe the price of it changed. I'm not looking into it that much. It wasn't super expensive. I think it was less than $10. I think it was like $5 or less. And that's a one-time fee. It's not like true VHS where you have to pay every week or every month. It's like $20 a month. But VHS living footage? Live your life. This is the Sony, I don't even know if you can see it. Can you see it? This is the Sony RX0 Mark II. I have a video about that. I don't know if it's out yet or it will be out soon. If it's not already out yet, stay tuned. My voice cracked. This is the Sony RX0 Mark I. I already have a video about that, but I'm talking about it also in a new video with my rickety table. Um, but if you want to see that older video, same stuff about it applies. But anyway, let's get into this video. The meat into it. Wow, let's get into this. Stop. All right. What you doing? What you doing? Let's take it out of the case. This is a um, book book case. Makes your phone look like a book book. So this is what we have. This is Rare Vision. I don't want you to see too many details. This is Rare Vision VHS. So there's a lot of stuff to unpack. There's a light. Boom. There is a titiller. So this says Rear Vision VHS at Rear Vision. You hold the record button and it takes a photo. So that's good to know. Play is where it goes into your videos. It goes to like your photos on your phone, but I'm not showing you all my stuff. You can switch it like this and now it's in vertical mode. Okay, you can zoom in. You can zoom out. That's fun to so zoom. And then you can do a selfie mode. Okay, let's get prepared for selfie mode because I don't want you too close up in my face. Okay, so yeah, you can do selfie mode like this. You could be all selfie-like. Okay, let's go through some of these filters actually now that we're in selfie mode. So this is just plain static. This is no video. Bars. Blue mode. Oh, this is cool for like a music video. Green mode. You can see a bit more in green mode. We have red mode. This is black and white mode. This is a uh, hard hip hop rapper mode. Well, the painting looks really cool like that. Okay, so this is um, Brady Bunch mode. So if you wanna be a Brady, why is it turning? Oh, that's part of it. This is really cool. This is kind of like, how would it look in vertical mode? Oh, that is cool. So this is um, that. This is like Windows 95 mode. This is like a dream-like mode. I kind of like this. It's like a smoothing filter. Purple mode. I think this is back to normal. I don't really use this mode because I like a little bit more scratch, scritch scratch. This is the one that I use. And when you shake it, more noise happens. Hey, yo, whoa. I just wanted to kind of clarify that there are actually some more filters that are similar to this filter, this main like camcorder looking filter. It's either three and all or four and all. And I was going through it in the video and I was confused as I was doing it, as, as I was editing, as I was editing, trying to enunciate and get my words out. As I was editing, I was confused and I was like, should I keep it in? Should I take it out? And so I took it out, but then I'm like, now I'm ignoring it. So I, I wanted to say something now. So I'm saying something now, but it just, one is like less saturated. It looks like a log format. Another one is more saturated. And then there's like the standard kind of look, one that's completely clean. I don't know. They're very similar. So if you download the app, 
you can see it. That's it. I just wanted to kind of say something about it, you know, to let you know I was eating a tortilla chip. So that's why I have a little, you know, the salt and everything. I eat too many tortilla chips. We should get back to the video because I'm just kind of rambling at this point, but they're filters, filters. So let's go into menu. So this is the options menu, contrast. You can bring it up, bring it down. I usually leave that in the middle, saturation. Same thing, you can bring it up, bring it down, detail. So I don't like too much detail. I kind of like it smooth, but that looks blurry. So I'll just keep it in the middle. Y'all got it twisted. You can do time code on or off. I don't deal with that. Now these are the settings. So spooth recording date means you can choose whatever date you want to have for your um, video. I don't like having the date on there. Video filter and nuclear edits. So these are the different filters. None, low kind, nuclear, nuclear edits, high eight, neon light, retro color, posterize, split screen, X3, video wall, negative, black and white, red, green, blue, color bar, solid black, TV static. I think I use high eight, I think, I think. Put some words on the video, you can change it to whatever you want it to be. Title color, you can change it from white, yellow, cyan, orange, magenta. New style text graphics, you can have an old style, I guess. Alternate titler font, if you want your titlers fonted. Uh, show date on the video, I don't like showing the date. Use two digit year, you know, like showing all that, 24 hour clock, boom. Consumer professional. So this is a professional look. So this is a consumer. I think it's all the same buttons. Now we have really bad rolling tape dropouts. I have that on. No tracking static lines. I have that off. Tilting device makes things worse. I do have that on, but I feel like it's a little too much at times. I have don't degrade audio, clean audio on because when that's off, the audio sounds terrible. Disable portrait recording. I'm gonna turn that on because I get really annoyed with that. Resolution 1080p, frame rate 24. I like the classic look. Um, HTF, do I use this app? Device model, I'm using an iPhone X. App version, that's app version. I guess I should have updated the app. There might be updates, but oh well. <sighs> we didn't update. I don't know. I don't be knowing. Anyway, yeah, I really do like Rear Vision VHS. So yeah, that's all that I wanted to do. I just wanted to talk to you about the settings that I use with Rear Vision VHS. I'm still using it. You can see it in basically all of my videos now that I'm posting these days because I use it as the footage that comes from my phone. I just like it. I kind of like using this more than um, a camcorder because it's always in my pocket. I really do like using a camcorder, but there are issues with using it, like being stressed out that the tape will malfunction, uh, being stressed out that it's big and you have to carry it. All right, so thank you so much for visiting my channel. Please do subscribe. Let me know what you want to see more videos of. This is a video about an app, Revision VHSs. Let me know if you want to see any other videos about any other apps. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you in the next video. Until then, goodbye. I don't know what else to say. I feel like I should say more, but I don't have anything else to say. Goodbye.